So guys, in my spare time, I like to go around and find new plants or study them. Uh, or if I see something interesting, e either in a book or just as I'm out and about. I like to kind of just study and see what it is or, you know, try to figure out if I can find it if I see it in a book. And this particular plant that I'm looking at now, I have no clue what it is. But I've been trying to find uh, what is labeled in a book as chufa or um, some other names that are common with it as nutsedge, things like that. And what I have right down here, at least looking at the tops of it, I think it might be possible that this might be a nutsedge. And I could be pronouncing that wrong, but from my research, it looks like a grass, but the blade, or the stalk on it, I mean, is uh, like a triangle, triangle shaped. And what I've found here, let me see if I can find one that's possibly it here. Not very handy. But anyway, I know this is going to be real hard to see and you're probably not going to be able to tell. But this has three sides to it, or three corners. So kind of triangular shaped. I'm pretty sure you probably won't be able to see that. But what I found this important about a nut sedge that I kind of want to do more research on is it's really hard Here's the, the top of the seed head. It's really hard to kill nut sedge. And a lot of it, uh, from my research, is that it grows in lawns or, you know, people's yards. And they just can't kill it. And the reason why they struggle so hard to kill it is because it has seed heads on top. And it has, like, little nuts down in the ground. And that's what I'm really interested in. Because my research shows that it was used as an edible and it has like an almond like flavor to it so I'm gonna take this patch here and I'll show it to you and I'm gonna dig up a section and hopefully I find what I'm looking for and I'm gonna show you this cool spider I've never seen in my life that I just happened to see right behind the camera let me do that first hang on is that not cool that is some wicked different colors on that thing. Wow, definitely different. Never seen one like that in my life. So guys, this is the patch I found. It uh, I've found a few other patches of this in the area. And like I said, this could be... I, it might not be what I think it is. And I definitely need to do more research. Um, but it's it's not very big. You could probably see it from my hand. And this stuff is, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be growing very tall. Um, previously I was looking for something really tall. But anyway, hopefully the ground's not too hard here. Which it feels like it is. And I'm going to try to dig down. See if I can find. What I'm looking for. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll get right back with you. And like I said, I might dig down here. I might find nothing. There might be absolutely nothing down there. Um, and I'll try to replant it back when I'm done. Hang tight. So guys, I dug up my first one here. And maybe I didn't dig deep enough. I don't really know. But I did not find what I was looking for. So we'll have to look some more. Um, I might try to dig a little deeper and see if what I was looking for was a little deeper. Um, the ground was real hard, so it was kind of hard to uh, be real careful about the way I was digging it up. And I also hit a root from a cedar tree. So I'm going to dig a little bit more and uh, get right back with you. So guys, I didn't find what I was looking for in the next plant over either. So... You know, just because the plant has one characteristic you're looking for doesn't mean it's the plant. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff these back in. Um, they may or may not survive. 
but at least I tried to put it back. And I'll keep looking. So here I am guys, I found uh, another patch of what appears to look the same, except for this is a much taller stock from it. Um, this one's more like a 16 inch stock. So it looks to be the same, but since it appears to be an older or more mature one, I'm going to go ahead and try to dig this one up and see maybe if the other one was just not uh, not mature enough. So I'm going to do that, and I'll get right back with you and tell you what uh, my experience was with it also. So guys, not really what I was expecting or looking for in this one either. Um, I did notice that at the bottom of each of these, there is a, like a bulb at the base of one of the, all these. Um, it's not quite a bulb, but similar to... So who knows, maybe, maybe I'm getting closer. Maybe I still haven't found a more mature one. Um, I still don't think this is what, quite what I'm looking for yet. But it's definitely been interesting so far. I think I've got a nut sedge but just not quite the one I'm looking for yet. So I'm gonna dig down a little bit more in this area, see if I find anything, but I don't think so. This may conclude what I was looking for today. Um, I'm still gonna keep looking. I have been looking, actually, for some time, just trying to guess, you know? And what that has led to so far is finding out what other different, basically, grasses are i found that I didn't uh, know the names to. Because there's a lot of different grasses that grow out here in the plains. And uh, it's definitely been, like I said, interesting. And this is, this is how I learn. This is definitely how I learn. So guys, I, I know this is going to be shaky. Um, but I wanted to show you three different spiders basically in this same area here. And these things are huge. I mean, they're easily the size of my thumb. Maybe one of you guys know what it is. There's one there. I'll keep track of them. There's one right there. And there's one over here. Yeah, I see another one now. But if you're not, whoo, spooky for me. I don't like spiders. Is that guy even, there he is. Whew. I don't know what it is. And there's another one right over there. So, anyways, I definitely leave these guys alone and let them have their space. Because I don't know what they are. I mean, I know they're a spider, but I don't know what kind of spider they are. But I thought that was interesting. Lots of grasshoppers. I actually mistake, you know, mistaked them as grasshoppers at first. They kind of looked like grasshoppers. And the dragonflies are crazy out here, too. And the flies. Things like that. But it's a beautiful day out. It is a little warm. Just enjoying myself. Trying to stay in the shade if I can. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I just. Let me see if I can get this on film for you. Let's see here. One of those spiders just got a grasshopper. So I'm going to try to show you that. Just hold tight. It's a different one. There's, I see two more spiders that I didn't see earlier uh, from just walking around here. And actually, this might be cool. I see a baby one 
uh, of the same species. This spider looks like it's right now like sucking the innards out of this uh, grasshopper here. Since it's so sunny out, I hope I can get this on film for you. Hang tight. I hope that's on film. And you can see that little tiny one in there. And the bigger one just looks like he's eating the uh, grasshopper. crazy. I think they look like grasshoppers, sort of, so they can disguise themselves to attract the grasshoppers so they can eat them. Boy, they're huge. Wow, they're big. The flies are crazy. I'm trying to hold still for you guys. but Wow, I see two more in another spot over here. Anyways, I just thought this was interesting. See now what he's what's he doing now? Gosh, that is just vicious. Yeah, he's wow. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, I feel like they're crawling all over me now, guys, so I'm going to let him be and do his thing. <laughs>